all the stop cocks, switch the fuel off. Are you disconnecting it all now? No, I'm just shutting the stop cocks. We're going to start disconnecting stuff now. and then hopefully we'll move it out on here tonight. Oh. <laughs> Your hand anywhere that can get pulled. Something breaks, let it go. I did some work. And then we'll move into the dock, lift this one out with a crane, lift the new one in, put it in. Okay. You nervous? <laughs> not saying anything today? <laughs> I'm, I'm not nervous, we're okay. We'll keep looking forward to getting it done. Okay. Yes. You want me to come up and fall in? You okay there? Are you okay? Yeah. Just be careful then. Yeah. Okay, so I've just put a finishing, putting the hours and the start and stop, which came with the the generator. 
because we couldn't put it here because this is the old the old gen set and there's no way I could put it. I could if I put it there, it would be hitting these buttons. So we're going to put it over there and we'll just leave this as it is because if we took it out, it would just look terrible. So I'll just put that in. Right, update. So on today is Sunday. On Friday, we went over to the dock over there where the crane was, the yellow crane. We took the old generator out, put the new generator in and left it on the floor. We came back to the morning because the dock over there is still damaged from Irma and you don't want to be on that dock. So we came back and we fitted the generator in. We it took us about two hours to get it in, just making it go in the right way so we don't damage any of the wood and don't damage any of the engine and got it in, got it bedded in. hour before the shop shut I went and bought all the new all those three bags all water water hose and all fuel uh, piping because we're going to change everything out all the clips and everything make it all really brand new so um, today's Sunday so we're having a day off and then um, tomorrow we're gonna put all the pipes in and then get it running so our guests come in uh, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. <laughs> Coming down to the wire. Fuel's open. to release the start switch and continue to hold the bypass preheat switch for up to five seconds. Go and get a guest out. Nothing like leaving it for the last second. I'd like to do a big shout out to Daniel, the guy that, uh, engine guy that took the old one out and put the new one in and showed me a lot. I learned a lot. Thanks, Daniel. So we've swapped out the seven and a half kilowatt Westerbeek generator for a Northern Lights seven kilowatt generator. And believe it or not, it's a Perkins. <laughs> so I've got two Perkins engines now, so that's good. So we've had it in just over a week now and it's done five hours. And I can't believe how quiet it was. In fact, I switched everything off and you gotta let it run for like three to five minutes just to cool down. And I actually went upstairs and Kim goes, are you going to switch the generator off? I went, it's not running. She goes, yes, it is. And I came back downstairs and went, oh yeah, it's running. It is so quiet. I'm really pleased with it. It's fantastic. So we caught him uh, leaving it to the last minute. We were actually, the guests were waiting for us on the dock and we still hadn't started the engine. Once we got the engine started, I had to go over and go and get them. And while that, Daniel and Kim were cleaning up and getting everything tidied away. It's nothing like leaving it to the last minute, but that's generally what happens on boats. So here's some clips of a fantastic family of three. We had such a great time with them. Let's go sailing. It's somewhere there. Yeah, it's somewhere out, out here on, on, on the... On the...